सो वी हैव मोर देन आई थिंक सिक्स करोर एस एम ईज रजिस्टर्ड विद अस इन टू थाउजेंड एट यू नो देर वॉज अ कमिटी सेटअप बाई से बी वेर इन दे वर वंडरिंग हाउ वी कैन हेल्प दीज एंटरप्राइजेस वेर एज इन केस ऑफ एस एम ई इट कुड इवन बी लॉस मेकिंग राइट बट दे शुड हैव अ गुड ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड यू नो दे आर मेंटेनिंग देयर अकाउंट्स वेल Hi everyone welcome to cut the noise by grip invest where we demystify market jargons and today we have with us shivanshu birla who is an alumnus of isb and a cfa charter holder so shivanshu today we are going to talk about sme ipos what are sme ipos to begin with so india is a very developing country right uh, obviously we do see you know large companies such as reliance but i think most of the value is created with sme so we have more than i think 6 crores smes registered with us and obviously most of them will be very small such as kirana shops but maybe 1% of them are maybe a you know medium size enterprises so you know in order to grow their businesses obviously everyone needs funds right uh, you can have in in the form of debt or you can raise institutional capital in 2008 uh, you know there was a committee set up by sebi wherein they were wondering how we can help these enterprises in raising money via public equity and uh, sme bsc uh, and nse emerge were set up so wherein they enabled uh, the medium size enterprises to raise money from public equity so you know how it is different from normal an uh, nse listing is so obviously the scale of business is very different for any company which is going into nse ipo uh it must be that they have figured out their business model right uh, the scale of business is such that minimum they will be creating a pat of 15 crore for past 3 years whereas in case of sme it could even be loss making right but they should have a good track record you know they are maintaining their accounts well plus they should have a positive uh, net worth and i think the figure was net tangible assets of minimum 1.5 cr right so these are the factors that differentiate the nse uh, ipo the main board listing versus the sme ipo listing ab mujhe aisa lag raha these are little riskier than the normal ipo Correct. if if things are little relaxed so what is your view are these riskier or steps being taken to reduce the risk obviously it's riskier because the companies that are coming here are not of that high higher scale they are yet figuring out their business models that they don't have a clear path to profitability some of those companies and even some of those companies have are getting new investors on board and you know they are trying to solve a problem they have you know maybe created a segment out of itself but they are going out there maybe multiplying their businesses it could go maybe 10x or 20x in some time but the also the risk is it could go down to zero as well right just as any other startup right you if you have placed bet on any of the startups if it is continually doing well it is able to raise funds right it is backed by good investors plus the business model is becoming scalable then it will you know finally find its path right but if it is not able to you know tick the right boxes at certain amount of time at right amount of time and obviously you need luck for that as well they they, they can go down to zero as well so basically you are saying that an a retail investor should do their uh, due diligence before investing yeah. while there are certain aspects that are already getting taken care in a sme ipo as well yeah so you know what i can say on this second aspect of retail investors going into sme is obviously i think you should when you are doing an investment you should research through and through right uh, and especially for the sme segment so there is a every ipo when it comes to sme they 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 file a drhp paper the red herring prospectus everyone should go through it they should know each and everything about the business where are the plan you know what are the funds will be used for you know everything you should be knowing about it plus i think sebi as a regulator is playing a very important role here so when this framework was set up uh, you know all all the things that we were discussed within the uh, you know the framework was you know how we can safeguard the retail investors uh, you know who are who would want to invest in in such a you know maybe volatile market person then how come these smes being little riskier and uh, needing due diligence right are getting subscribed so much uh, i was just reading about uh, australian uh, solar mm. some sme mm. Mm. it it got uh, subscribed uh, 530 times yeah 
so that has been the case i think a lot also depends on you know so there is a new class of merchant bankers that has emerged out of this right so you know coming back to this the sebi has been working on all the fronts there so they have you know certain criteria for merchant bankers and those merchant bankers have their own investors as well right who are backing them who are, who would want to invest pre ipo or even post ipo or right so uh, you know a lot actually if the business is good so for example there was also one company kc energy that is the highest uh, subscribed ipo ever that was subscribed maybe 1 1050 times right the original so they were asking for approximately 15 16 cr but they got a huge amount of money and even i think that that is just a month ago and the stock price is right now maybe listed at 55 but now it's trading approximately at 220 so yeah they are creating value in that sense and obviously it's risky why because see when you are talking about wealth creation right you are talking about what's the share price it's not a function of how is business currently doing it's a function of how it will eventually do what are the growth prospects of the business you know how the investors are seeing those, that business as well so for example if there if there is any ev company or semiconductor company obviously they will be trading at higher multiples so yeah coming back to your question yeah so basically let me just summarize what i learned so far that there are basically some key differences in the sme ipo and normal ipo so for sme ipos uh, companies are looking to raise somewhere starting from 1 crore to 25 crore but on the other hand they are raising minimum of 10 crore here the exchanges are uh, vetting the offer document and here sebi also vets the offer document here merchant bankers make sure that the ipo underwriting is at 100% and that to 15% being done by the company itself and here it is not necessary that ipo gets underwritten so these are few of the uh, things that i found uh, as a major differences in the IP, sme ipos so uh, one more thing she wants you then a retail investor kaise decide kare ki invest karna hai ya nahi karna and what are regulators doing to ensure that risks are mitigated for the retail investor so what cbi has done is the minimum investment that you can do in any of the sme stocks is 1 lakh right so it obviously psychologically they are what they are trying to do is if any retail investors also wants to put in money he does his due diligence because 1 lakh is not a very small amount of money for many many people right uh, you know comparing it to normal nsc board uh, main board it's approximately 10 to 15000 per application so any uh, main board is anywhere between 10 to 15k minimum yeah. and can go as high as 2 lakh for yeah. retail investor but here minimum is at 1 lakh yeah. so that the application is 1 lakh and after that also the you are only trading in lots not shares so yeah. for example you are the lot could be of 500 shares and it will only trade in lots and not in particular number of so basically by increasing the minimum investment size uh, regulators yeah. are ensuring that only serious investors are participating in the sme ipo process right. this one more thing i want to ask is there a, is there any index for sme ipos as well the way we have in the normal ipo yeah there is so there is a, a sme bsc ipo index so if you if you get you know, obviously it's very intriguing but sensex for the past year has given a return of 18% approximately okay. that is also you know pretty nice for any average investor but sme ipo index has given a return of 100% oh. Uh, approximately i think 90 90 95 to 100% right and it has been the case for past 3 years as well you know 90% per year so that i think talks a lot about india's growth story and where the real value is generated uh you know and obviously you know people do ask uh you know is it even viable right uh, what is the moat of you know what are the, what are the underlying risk of investing in such a companies obviously we have seen so much of growth but the underlying risk remains is obviously because these stocks are not uh, you know very so for nse ipo main board or reliance you know you can't manipulate that stock right but for a small company maybe with a market cap of 100 cr free float of 25 cr maybe 5 crore if you are holding 5 crore worth of shares you can easily manipulate the price of the share you can increase the demand as well as, as well as supply and hence the shares are mostly in upper or lower circuits in that sense if someone is trying to trying to manipulate the market so yeah retail investors need to be safeguarded from that plus when i really talk about is it really creating value yes it is uh, so if you compare nsc so sensex is at 25 pe approx uh, 
and this uh, IPO SME IPO is approximately 50 PE. What is this PE thing? So PE is like uh, what are the earnings to price. Okay. So for example, a company in BSC uh, is making a rupee of profit, but it is trading on an average at 25 rupees. But for SME, they are creating a one rupee profit, but for 50 rupees. Got it. Yeah. So, so profit to uh, yeah PE pr price to earnings. So the thing is. I think that is also justified in a sense because you will have to see what growth rate you know SME has to offer. It is easy to go from 100 CR to 200, 200, 2000 CR, but maybe difficult to go from maybe 5 lakh crore company to a 10 lakh crore company. Just uh, some some more uh, light on what are SMEs. For example, we recently saw some major IPOs. For example, Nike and oh. Paytm in the past, were they getting listed in the SME uh, no, They were getting in the main board because they were obviously, you know, they are operating at a very uh, large scale. So they were they were on the main board. Thank you, Shivanshu. And thanks to our audience for tuning in with us till the end. If you have any queries, please let us know in the comment section so that our team will get back to you. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and share with your friends. So till then, keep investing. Investments in debt securities are subject to risks. Read all the offer-related documents carefully.